thousands of tourists head to the Mara each year, and more and more Chinese are among them. CCTV's Jen Keo spoke to one tourism operator about what visitors can expect. Well, look at it this way. You've got the Serengeti, which is 14,000 square kilometers. And you've got these two million wildebeest plus half a million zebras that have trekked north into the Masai Mara. The Masai Mara is one-tenth the size of the Serengeti. It's at 1,500 square kilometers. So imagine that same two million wildebeest plus half a million zebras coming into one-tenth the size. Obviously, it's easily visible. A whole crowd of animals in such a small space suddenly becomes very visible, unlike when it was in the Serengeti, which is so big. One of the biggest clients is China. How has the market grown over the years? Traditionally, our markets were Europe uh, and North America. And then, of course, uh, since uh, 2003, we had been looking to the east, and it has grown. It is uh, slowly uh, taking shape. And I think that within a, a couple of years, it may be ranked within the top 10, uh, if not uh, even higher. So yes, it is growing, uh, it is growing uh, quite uh, adequately, something that we would like to see. Probably when you're selling um, this package of ma the Maasai Mara wild wildebeest migration, say to a Chinese, how do you sell it like? I mean, what kind of things do you say? How should they behave? What should they look out for? Well, obviously, the first and foremost uh, for any visitor coming to East Africa, including the Chinese, is, of course, the big game. So obviously, that is the first thing that we'd be telling them that, you know, you are almost guaranteed to see the big four, if not the big five. You know, uh, you probably might miss out on the leopard or the, uh, or, or, or the rhino at some point, but usually you will see the big four. So that is in itself uh, the first real reason of wanting to come to, to Kenya. Secondly, the beauty of this country, the scenic beauty, the weather, if you consider the, the weather in this country against most uh, countries around the world, in China, for example, or many Chinese who have settled in uh, North America, in Europe, etc. For them, this is very conducive uh, weather because it's beautiful, it's nice, it's warm uh, during most of uh, the, the time of the year. Uh, and thirdly, the Chinese people love culture. They like to s meet up with the local people. They like to have a meal with the local people. They like to engage in conversations with the local people because they are down-to-earth people. Having been in the industry for more than 36 years, I'm sure you've had several experiences with the migration. What's the most amazing thing that you have seen? The highlight of uh, seeing, for example, a pride of lions making a kill. And, you know, these animals are very... Uh, discipline and very organized. So, for example, to see a lion hunt uh, when they stalk their uh, prey and the way they follow it, they plan on how they are going to uh, actually corner it and make a kill is amazing. When you see a kill in, right in front of your eyes, yes, as much as it is not a pleasant experience to many people, it becomes a highlight. So when you see something like that, it is an amazing, amazing experience. What are the chances of someone seeing Absolutely nothing. I have yet to see anybody who doesn't see anything. 